All right, guys, here we are again. I'm gonna shoot another video. This one is on crest rollers. I'm just gonna take a couple seconds here and show you these birds that we got here. They're all crests, variety of colors. All right, little squabs here, little young birds. Of course we got here Sam, Sam Smith. Welcome back to Roller Pigeon Evolution. Uh, like Danny said, today we're going to be talking about crest rollers. All right, well, first things first, uh, where did the crest rollers come from? Uh, crest rollers, they come from England. They come from the same place the Birmingham roller comes from. <laughs> okay, now uh, what's the difference between the crest and the regular rollers? The difference between a crest and a regular roller? Uh, pretty easy to demonstrate. If you look at the head of this bird, you notice he's got some upturned feathers on the back here. Right. That is a crest. And that's pretty much where the difference between these birds and the Birmingham, <laughs> the Birmingham roller ends. Or any other type of roller. They are the exact same birds. There's no difference between uh, a crest and a regular roller. So that particular crest, the crest, where did it actually come from? Well, when the bird, before the birds even got to the United States, when they were in Europe, you can go through Europe, you can go through Asia, you can go through the Middle East, and you'll find birds with crest. So um, the original families, the original birds, have crest in them. They carry it, some birds carry it as a recessive gene, some birds carry it as a dominant gene. These birds show it, and um, these birds will act, actually will produce birds that don't have crest. Okay. Just to tell you, they have uh, regular rollers behind them. They're they're both. And how do they compare to regular rollers in, in the sky? Exactly the same. Um, I've seen uh, this family of crest roll just as good as any other roller that I've seen. Uh, they are they're phenomenal rollers. Uh, this particular family of birds, the only I would say negative about them. Uh, the gentleman who started this family of birds, uh, by the name of Hector Koya, um, he actually uh, started out with a crest hen that was a roll down. So these birds tend to be really, really deep. I mean, they drop anywhere from 60, 70, I've seen them go well over 150 feet or more. Um, but they do crash sometimes. That's the only negative about these birds. What I've tried to do is breed uh, breed them with a little more type to them and some stability. I've had varying success. This little bird right here um, is one of the recent ones that I bred and out of this particular family um, I've been able to get a little more uh, stability out of them. I, I know I understand that roll downs, a lot of people like roll downs about, but do you consider the roll down trait as a flaw? Yes, it is a flaw. It is definitely a flaw. Um, what what a roll down is? A roll down is a bird that cannot control the roll. He doesn't. He can't pull out of the roll, and he's gonna go. If, a true roll down. If he's up 400 feet, he's gonna roll all of that 400 feet. And he's gonna crash. So if I have a roll down, and it's a crest, but I want to breed like uh, rollers that or crest birds with shorter roll, and all I have is is uh, regular non-crested rollers. Can I breed my non-crested roller with a crest and then eventually end up with a deep but not roll down crest roller? Uh, first of all, I don't really uh, suggest crossing these with your other family of birds. It really, uh, it's not something, it's just a preference. I don't particularly like to do it, so I don't do it. I don't cross crested rollers with regular rollers. Even when they produce rollers that do not have crests, I don't cross them with any of my other families. I leave them as a family on their own. As far as a roll down, if you have a bird that is truly a roll down, uh, your best bet is to get rid of that bird. And don't send them to the pet shop so somebody else breeds them. Your best bet is to just call the bird. A roll down to me is a call. It should be destroyed, it should be done away with. I don't believe in breeding roll downs. Uh, it's just 
I mean, the whole idea of breeding rollers is to improve the quality of birds that are out there. If you're taking birds that should be destroyed and send them to the pet shop, somebody else is going to get them and they're just perpetuating, you know, um, diluting the quality of birds that are out there. So to answer your question, no, if it's rolled down, get rid of it. No, but what I'm saying is, can you breed other other rollers, regular non-crest rollers, and then come back? Can you duplicate a crest yes. later down in the family? Yes, if you take a, a crested roller and cross it to a non-crested roller, and you take one of the babies, cross it back to the parent that has crest, nine times out of ten, they will breed you a majority of birds that have crest. Okay. So, to answer that question, yeah. Now, these birds, these are all youngsters on the bottom. Um, that are currently flying and they're just starting to um, flip over but uh, I've had really good success with flying these youngsters and um, they're definitely showing potential for roll. Hopefully uh, I don't end up with a bunch of them that are too deep. Um, the idea is to get them to where they're stable and I've got some good ones that are very stable. This hen I flew for over a year and uh, I bred her 2010. I flew her for over a year and she was very stable good hand, um, and so I kind of focus on her. These are some of her daughters down the line here. Right. Done very, very, very well. Something surprising, if you look up here at this blue check cock right here, this blue check cock, his nest mate was a solid white. So these birds, um, even though they're blue checks, they'll produce solid white. I think that's all the questions I got for you, Sam. You got anything to close the video? No, I mean, that's it. And again, uh, I would like to thank everybody for your questions. Keep sending those questions in and I will answer your questions on the following videos. Thanks again for uh, watching Roller Pigeon Evolution and tune in on the next video.